Hey everybody, it's Eric from epautos.com, your libertarian car guy, and I wanted to alert you all to some shystery correspondence that seems to be popping up in the mail. I'm going to try and focus in on this, and hopefully you'll be able to see some of it. Maybe you'll see the ominous-looking immediate response to this notice is requested, and it's from something called the Vehicle Notification Department. Looks really government-y, doesn't it? It's sort of... Uh, uh, put together to look like some kind of notice uh, from uncle, uh, which is, you know, it's savvy from their shystery point of view. It's a way to get you to open up this letter, and then they start to terrify you or try to terrify you and scare you with uh, urgent talks about having to call to verify or urgent notice. And all it is is a shystery uh, attempt to sell you a cheesy and probably completely worthless uh, extended warranty, which you'll find out about if you if you read their various illiterate fine print. Uh, I've got more of this actually up on epautos.com where you can read an actual article about it in which I quote some of this ridiculous verbiage. Um, do not fall for this. This is a scam. This is not legitimate. Um, extended warranties uh, are, in my opinion, uh, one of the easiest ways to be conned out of your dollars. Uh, not that all extended warranties are, are cheesy or disreputable. They're not. But when you get an unsolicited letter in the mail, such as this one, with uh, all this uh, bold-faced, all-caps, fear lingo, and uh, you know they try to terrify you into uh, uh, calling their, uh, their special number, which you might call there just for fun. I'm not, I'm not saying that you should just call to inquire, perhaps. Uh, anyway, um, just it's bogus. Put it in the fire, throw it in the woods, get rid of it. It's garbage. Uh, and uh, these shady tactics uh, kind of get my back up because bad enough that we get letters from the government all the time threatening us with this, that, and the other thing, and then we get these obnoxious notices that make us waste our time opening up the letter and finding out that it's a bunch of garbage. Uh, and some people who are not necessarily so car savvy might actually be taken in by this. I assume many are because they're probably sending these out to hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people, and they'll put down all of these overpriced, marked up, uh, theoretical repairs in a bill format, you know, to make it look like, oh my gosh, this could happen to you. Uh, anyway, what will happen if you sign up for this garbage is they'll, uh, they'll hit you with a massive cost for their worthless extended warranty, which will never cover anything. Um, <laughs> you're far, far, far better off uh, just putting aside some of, of your own money in uh, an envelope in the kitchen drawer uh, or in the bank or somewhere else, and if something goes wrong with your car, Go ahead and pay for it that way, or uh, look up legitimate extended warranties, uh, which are not conveyed in this manner, um, and which are backed by reputable companies, and you can check that out using all of the various resources that are available to anybody who is willing to do a little bit of due diligence, look it up with the Better Business Bureau, check it out online, see whether it's a legitimate company, compare what they're offering versus what the cost of what they're offering is, and, and, and make a decision based on that. Um, and take these letters and put them in the fireplace. Anyway, more up at epautos.com, the net's best libertarian gearhead site. Uh, thanks for viewing, and we'll catch up with you again soon.